Hey everyone! Alright, so welcome to week 37. Oh my goodness, I am full term! Officially, Ewan can come at any time and it is good, like it's safe for him to come any time now. Which is just insane! It, like, I cannot believe it. I literally feel like a ticking time bomb that any second, like, my water is going to break and and I'm going to have to rush to the hospital, and I'm still not quite ready. I'm almost ready, but I'm not quite ready. Um, and I know, like, I guess it's only like 11% of people uh, who have, have their, um, their waters break spontaneously. Um, most have to have them broken, or whatever. But uh, still, it's that fear that, oh goodness, I'm going to be... Um, like I have a wedding that I'm going to just like very very shortly um, in a couple of hours and I'm afraid that my water is gonna break right in the middle of the ceremony so that would be awesome um, but yeah it's still amazing I cannot believe I'm 37 weeks so I'm gonna jump right into this this is gonna be a really genuinely gonna be a really really quick video um, just because I have to get ready for the wedding I still have to do my hair my hair is up in a braid today um, so I still have to wash it and straighten it and get dressed and ready, so. Anyways, so the baby's size this week, starting off the size of a winter melon, and by the end of the week, he's going to be the size of a pumpkin. That's ridiculous. I mean, granted, when I think of a pumpkin, I'm thinking of a pumpkin that's a lot bigger than the pumpkin that they're referencing, but nonetheless, the size of a pumpkin by the end of the week, so that's just crazy, but... Yeah, growing and growing and moving still a ton. Um, still kicking me in the ribs. Still moving around. He's starting to kick kind of to the side now. Um, so I think it's only a matter of time before I actually see the foot imprint on my on the side of my belly. So that's kind of exciting. Um, as of yet, it's just kind of like the bump or whatever that comes out. But some people say they actually see the imprint of the foot stick out. So I'm excited to like... For that to happen. Hasn't happened yet, but he's still moving a ton. Um, he does kind of go through spells where he's not moving quite as much, but there's not as much room in there for him to move, so I'm not worried about it at all because um, he's still very, very active. It's just because he was so active before anything less is, you know, like, oh, he's not moving as much, but I'm sure that's actually the norm because <laughs> he's such an active little boy. Um, but that's a good thing. I, I would rather him be like this than not at all, or less, because I like to feel him in there. And I only have like three weeks left, possibly, or less, or, or more, um, to feel that movement, so I'm trying to treasure it now while I still have it. Although I'm anxious for him to get here, and I'm excited for him to get here, um, and I'd have him here now if I could, um, I'm still trying to treasure every every moment while he's still in there because I know I'll miss it once once he's out but. okay so as far as my symptoms are concerned um, for this week I, I do have a couple um, my the pelvic pain uh, I'm getting a lot of pelvic pain really down down low um, it feels I think it's because my pelvis is widening um, to like prepare for birth um, but it, but it is quite painful at times. Um, it hurts more during the night. I don't know why. I would think it would be more painful during the day after being up and about for for the day. But it, but it actually hurts more during the night. And when I roll from side to side um, during the night, um, it really really hurts. And then getting up out of bed really hurts. Um, but once I kind of get moving, it it's not as bad. So I'm not exactly sure what that is, but. Yeah, pelvic pain, starting to hurt. He's starting to feel heavy down there, for sure. Um, more swelling. Um, my right foot is swelling way more than my left. Um, I mentioned it to my doctor at my appointment that I just had, and she said that that's nothing to be concerned about, so I'm not concerned about it. And my swelling, again, is not... Um, I've seen pregnant women and their feet and... You know, there are some that really, really swell a lot. And I, I'm not quite to that extreme, but I am definitely swollen. Um, my fingers are swollen. I'm not wearing my bands on my on my finger anymore. Um, I mentioned that, I think, in last week's video. But 
So I am still swollen and I'm getting more swollen as the days um, <laughs> are progressing. But it's actually quite nice out, so I'm thinking that it has something to do with the heat, because it's quite warm. Um, but yeah, that that's it for, for my symptoms for the week. Um, no new um, cravings or anything like that. Everything is still the same in that department. Um, I did have a doctor's appointment this past week. Um, I asked if she could check me. And she said that I could ask. <laughs> um, but it's not something that she standard... She does standard every week. She did it um, a couple of weeks ago because she was testing me for the group B strep. And so she just thought she'd check while she was in there. Um, but it's not something she does every week. If I wanted it to be done, I mean, that's fine. But she actually like had a procedure that she had to go to right after my appointment. So she said, I'm not going to check you today, but I will check you tomorrow. Or, not tomorrow, next, next appointment. Um, unless I have something that, you know, comes up, I get called to go deliver a baby or something like that, then I won't be able to check you because it's not something I normally do in an appointment. Um, but, yeah, so she didn't check me. I was kind of disappointed because I wanted to know if I had progressed at all. But, I have no idea, so as far as I know, I'm still tightly closed. But, she's going to check me at my next appointment, which I'm excited for. Um, and I know that it doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of curious for like my own curiosity. I'd like to know what's going on down there, if anything's happening. But, so next week I'll find that out. Um, what else? Oh, and I got my results for the group B strep um, and negative. So that's really awesome. So I won't have to be hooked up to any antibiotics um, during delivery. So I was really happy about that. Okay, so that is it, really, for my update for this week. Um, I know it's really, really short, uh, but I guess that'll be a treat, because usually I tend to ramble. But, uh, yeah, that's it for week 37. Full term, any day now, he can be here. That is just craziness. Wow. Alright, so let's cut for now, and let's go check out this belly. Alright, everyone, time for week 37 belly. Yep. Um, I don't think I've dropped, really. Um, some people are saying that I have dropped, and some people are saying that I'm really high still. So, I'm not really sure. I don't think I have. I still think that I'm pretty up here. But, I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. But yeah. A belly. Oh my god. It's amazing. No new stretch marks or anything like that. Just roundness. <laughs> and I keep forgetting to check my weight. I forgot to check my weight last week, and I forgot to check my weight um, this week as well, so I'm not exactly sure what my weight is. Um, I think it's a lot. Well, not a lot, but I think I've gained. Um, but I'll really try to make a point for the next um, update to check my weight, so I can let you guys know what that is. Other than that, that's it for week 37. I really hope you have a great week. Um, my week is hopefully going to be filled with finishing up everything, getting nursery done so that I can do the nursery tour. So look out for those videos. I am almost done with everything. Um, so I should be able to get those videos done and up really, really soon. And I'm super excited um, to be able to do them. So look out for that. But yeah, have a great week. That's it for week 37. And I will see you next week for week 30. Eight. Oh my goodness. Bye.